my knowledge. I've never seen him compete well, he, in he, New England. He's in New York. I yeah. think he might go to school here I think he may go to something. school here, but my point is that Rhode Island is a very small scene, and okay. their top player, Sharp, mostly competes in Massachusetts. That's true. So, what you just you just don't have that same level of, of experience to gain that patience and resource management sure. as you might in some other matchups. Now, I will say, speaking of patient players, another one is definitely Opic Bob, where if you're New Jersey, you know this guy. He is a cultural pillar of the scene. Yeah, I mean, you have to be if you play Toon Link, right? Like, Ob McBob, Ob McGod, God McBob. Yeah. I was gonna say, so it's the same thing with every Toon Link I know in the Northeast, right? Yeah. So the, right, like, You're local dead. man Maddie, pillar of, pillar of Encore, well, or, are, and, are, and are also you... Kev Arrows, pillar of the CT Smash community well, as well. our New York Toon Link Links players. aren't super, like, we have Spoopy and we have Uber 707. They gotta but, pick up their culture, I don't know what to tell you. But I will say, I mean, I think Helper is going to have a supreme advantage in this set because he kind of just will play super solid and Toon Link can't really do anything about it. Yeah. Um, McBob in particular is the type of player where he loves to just constantly play projectiles, play slow. But Helper is playing a better character and also is just as patient. Yep, also real... Jab block, That though. being said, Zare very good in this matchup because yeah. it's one of the few kind of aerial options in the game that outranges Sora consistently and can deal with that drift and also confirms. That being said, I was going to say, how does... Because Toon Link, out of the three links, I would argue probably has the worst down layer just because it's the most committal. Well, how does Toon Link deal with Sora planking? Uh, Toon Link can't really deal with it. You kind of have yeah, to just throw... Than, like, you, you throw bomb down. Well, you throw Boomerang and Arrow and just kind of, like, wait. The yeah. thing I want to focus on, and you might see this, is... The offstage for Toon Link in this matchup can be miserable, whether it's you do Sora counter and it kills them at 30, or you just, or you just do stage. forward air one, forward air one, bonk, 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 and yeah. like they just die. And they I was going to say, big circular hitbox on a floaty is just exactly Sora's play. Exactly. Like, that's Sora's dream with a linear recovery to boot. Because then when they do have to burn those resources, as you said, right, that yeah. counter comes out. And so you kind of get to chain those two things together. Uh, that being said, Ed, Sora on, on the other flip side gets to go all the way around the world, circumnavigate the globe for Mr. Nook over there. Air Beautiful spot until... Yeah, you had enough bells to sponsor the trip and sponsor the trip to the Blast Zone to boot. And yeah. right now, JDC, I mean, Ahmed Bob has played their way right back into this one. And this is kind of, this is what I like to describe as the Omic Bob effect, where he will kind of just, he'll sit there, he'll throw his bridge trials, he'll hit you, suddenly you're at 90, you're not really sure how it happened, you die to an F tilt, you die to whatever. He's just playing so so. Helper oh. made a bad, he did a bad, and I mean. Yeah, I was, that, was a, that was a DI, a, a, a DI moment. I think, yeah, I mean, it happens. Yeah, no, it absolutely does, and like, and I got I got caught by three of them in bracket today, so. Yeah, I will I? say though, like, um, Bob plays is play, was playing super good. I also think Helper is definitely like he's just. And I th I've noticed this all day, with the exception of the last set we just watched, because it was so one-sided. He's been throwing out a lot more like kind of haymaker-style reads, mm -hmm. and I don't think you can really do that against a solid player or Toon Link. Where like, as, as well as the fact that like, in terms, we've also seen him throwing out a lot of things like down tilt, oh, yeah. which Sora's safe. Defend like pressure comes from his aerials. When uh -huh. he's throwing out grounded pressure and it hits shield, he gets punished by that. And then against a character that can do that kind of from mid range, like Toon Link, get a conversion. And that was a huge difference maker in game in game yeah. one. And Toon Link also has up at a shield, which we haven't really seen much, but it is frame eight. And it's it's really and it's it really also, active. It, oh no! It's also the only link up B, I believe, to not deactivate on shield. So. Yeah. Sorry, that was Helper accidentally saving Omic Bob there. He could have done up B high and then side B back above, but Omic Bob with the second lease on life here, and now he just has this advantage. He's kind of chilling out. Down that, air, no follow up though. No, it's very hard, hard at those mid percents because you have to kind of read whether they're gonna tech it or not. You can't react, and if they do tech it and you went for the aerial, then they you, they do punish you for it. That being said, I love that boomerang kind of forcing Helper into the shield, allowing Omnic Bob to reset the situation. Helper's slight overextension is gonna put him off to the other coast. Put that up, his hitbox is so absurd, and it just allows Helper to reset the situation, use it as a get off me tool. Now holding center stage, this can be a really scary situation. I honestly think whoever takes this first dock is gonna take this game. You definitely can see that, and I mean, 
Oh no. I sorry. I, I I thought that maybe Helper did the same mistake that cost him the last game. To Omnic Bob has done a really good job of utilizing Toon Link's super active moves, but Sora's also got those active yeah, moves. Yeah, and that slight timing mix up on that F tilt one. Yeah. Un Un, you did the first one and you whiffed it, but you had just a slight enough mix-up to basically make Omnic Bob feel safe, and then you punish, which allowed that stock to close out. Just a very simple fundies mix-up from sure. Helper coming in clutch. Now though, both players playing around this platform. The downside of Sora here is that as good as that as that that jump can be in that double jump, you being so floaty means that if you have to jump off platform, -grab, you give Toon Link all the time in the world to get back, and somehow missing the F tilt. Omnic Bob just missed timing it ever so slightly, giving Helper one more lease on life. He gets to keep going around the world. You can't keep guessing if you're Omnic Bob, and the fact that he's managed to keep this ledge trap going at all was impressive, but unfortunately, he just didn't get very much off of it. I was about to say, Omnic Bob hasn't gotten hit very much, but Helper tacking on some extra percent. This backer will definitely take the stock. And this is definitely a lead that Toon Link can easily make up. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see Omnic Bob. Okay, Helper just adjusting yep, you, himself. I was going to say, you land a Zare, you land a Bomb, you land a Reverse Hit Boomerang. This could just be death. And you're right back somehow routing around beautifully. E looking death in the eyes, getting right up in front of Helper, but then using Toon Link's floatiness to kind of cross you up underneath, sure. saying you're not going to go for down air because it'll be a stock trade. And that's going to be it. Unfortunately, Omnic Bob, despite the beautiful routing, Ing, ing, your driving ability only takes you too far. Eventually, you get tired and kind of get wrecked. For so. sure. And Helper, using the strength of the Battlefield counterpick so well to his advantage, he's covering the platform so well, doing all this movement. Omnic Bob, though, moving more towards center stage. He has control. I think he just needs to chill out. He needs to play a little more like air to air, I think. Use the two link super active air, super active forward air. The Zare is good, but the side B1 from Helper and the tech chase. And he just is in the driver's seat. Forward air, 81% onto Omnic Bob and Edge Guard here, maybe. And the air he dodge. He tried the counter. I know, but the air dodge as well from Omnic Bob was so smart. His routing and, and just at the last second, his minor variations. He's taking the same route back to stage, basically. He's but drifting different. out and then he's drifting in, holding in, jumping, and and up being and every single time, but just the, the minor variations, as you mentioned, on what resources he uses have been all the difference, and it's just so cool to see these layers. Yeah, exactly. Out. And this is like sort of the Toon Link effect, right? Mm -hmm. We're throwing the bombs here. Let's see if Omnibob picks up a stock soon with like a forward air or something, or maybe like a back throw. This is totally and the, doable. And the Phantom Foot's still there, on, on, kind of coming out of the ice, nope. Icicle Brick. Allowing Omnic Bob to get away for a second, somehow holding on for dear life, getting the bomb out to boot as well as this tether, but you don't have much time, so you're gonna get hit, put back in the juggle. Sora can keep you up there all day, every day. It's gonna be very difficult, but Omnic Bob somehow once again finding nope. a way back down, but not accounting wow. for the Fundaga, still surviving. Beautiful DI on a character as light and floaty as Toon Link. It's also the you, battlefield ceiling. Mm, you might be able to close out the stock, but you have a whole nother one to do. Even if you find this here, it's a this ways would, to go. This would be a Herculean bomb. effort if he made Absolutely. this come back. And I mean, Helper is just going to chill out here. You see, he's running away. He knows that he doesn't have to do anything. Like, the kill at this point is kind of probably going to come to so, him. If I'm Helper, I honestly just start planking. They're like, there's no plank rule in this game. You, you can don't plank need to definitely. plank. I think if anything, planking is how you might lose. Someone, someone call M2K. <laughs> You play for two minutes? I do think, though, like, in Ultimate, planking can be a little awkward, because, like, sometimes... Absolutely. And Toon Link obviously has some pretty active, crazy moves to contest mm. planks here and there. Obviously, we have Bomb, we have F-Tilt. I think, though, like, as much as Helper, like, definitely made some great adjustments, I also think that the Battlefield counterpick mattered for him, like, a lot. Absolutely. And I wonder how we're going to do on presumably a stage with less platforms. Um, yeah, I can't imagine we're going to go back. Like, I, I would imagine that, like, we're going to see FD probably get banned. I would imagine we're probably going to yeah. see Kalos get banned. I'd imagine we go to PS2. Um, I, I was going to say, I could also see Town come up. Because Town has the triplets, which you might be like, ah, I don't know about that, and those small side blast zones. But it also does turn into FD, and the platform layout for Town, which we are in fact going to, is really good for Sora. The platform height means you get ladders, ladder extensions more consistently on a lot more characters. And when you have the low center platform and the high side platforms, you can actually extend from one platform to the other platform and find some very early stocks. Exactly. So it makes sense that we're going here as well as, as you mentioned before, FD, very good for Sora. And FD with smaller blast zones, even better for Sora. I would say so. I do think, though, I mean, FD, I mean, 
Town definitely helps mask some of Toon Link's weaknesses. It does. Um, obviously, like, you get to zone a little better, your buttons will kill a little earlier, which is something that like, he can kind of struggle with. And while I do you agree can that here. he can zone easier against most characters, the platform layout on Town with these side plats always being so high, even when they're in the lower platform, yeah. means that Sora can kind of circle, circle camp you, and Toon Link just doesn't have great tools to deal with a character like Sora doing that, going from platform to platform to platform like that. Yeah, for sure. So it can be very hard if Sora gets a lead uh, early, just like this, to then zone out. Because if, if Ob McBob wins early, sure. But now that you're stocked down, how do you ever zone this character out consistently once there's platforms? And now you see Helper taking his time. He's poking. He's belligerently there. Helper side being in, but Ob McBob with the punish. Up tilt, no forward air, but a frame trap. Okay, I like it. Absolutely. Holds the bomb. Shields of Thunder, but round the world we go. Yeah, and the bomb to catch that lead grab as well was beautiful from Ob McBob. Uh, still trying to find a way to cover and has made the adjustments, but unfortunately still just not able to find the confirms off of those adjustments. So while he's giving himself that extra chip damage to let Helper not get away from for, with things as freely, he's not able to convert them and Helper's still getting the additional opportunities, which is really the problem there in the first place. For sure. Helper causing other problems too, just out of shield. Uh, McBob is just slowly, the life is draining from him. He's getting hit and hit over and over again. And this lead is really helping him out right oh, now. Oh, 100%, because the thing is like, if you're trading as Helper, you don't really care. All this damage is just going to benefit you in the long run. No, absolutely. E, e, right? You're just like, okay, e, this is like literally just the theory of Snake, but applied to any character with the lead, right? Which is, is, <laughs> theory is, is especially if, if, you're, if you're a similar weight, you're down just trading every single hit because, or because, and c if you have a lead, because you're just going to win. If you I, trade every sorry. single hit and you have a lead, you're and you're a similar weight, you're gonna win. Yeah, sorry. There was a weird thing. Off of grab looked like it should have hit, but it didn't. Yeah. And because it was a Z axis thing is what it was. Yeah, it like. was like the very edge of the hook shot where like it was like in Helper's model, but it didn't actually connect. And because of the grab whiffing, Helper has a three stock to one lead, and Off McBob. It's so hard to kill Sora sometimes. Yeah, I mean, right, this is again what we were talking about. Like, this is Sora a just doesn't have to interact with you once he gets that, that stock lead on this stage. And Toon Link really wants to pressure you into that kind of mid range where they can and catch you with these projectiles. But when you have such a large deficit and have to approach, approach, approach as Toon Link, it can be very hard to do so against Dead? a character with as good mobility as Sora. No, no because down. the high top blasts them. This looks so, I mean, Omnic Bob, he's definitely still in it, but like, this is so hard. Jab, one, two, three, will finally kill at yeah, 200%. He, he just poked him. He, he just, just, he just him. said, he just said, go. Yep. Go that way. He's pointed. Yeah. Now, and this is just a stock deficit, which, I mean, it is a lot, but in, in, the, in the scope of Smash Ultimate, you can make these comebacks for sure. Yeah, that being said, Toon Link, not a character necessarily known for oh. having that cheese, right? For finding yeah. those early stocks. And that's really one of the things that differentiates, I think, as this game goes on. Toon people Link are going to look at tiers, tiers in general, a lot more based on just how good your punish game. Like, because... It okay, matters a lot. You have because, to be able to hit hard. Because neutral, neutral, okay, you can just be the better player. Disadvantage, you can compensate for. And if the punish game is good enough, it doesn't matter how good your disadvantage is, because you get hit and you die. Yeah. All right. Whereas punish game is literally something that is limited by the tools of your character and how well you can punish. No, them. exactly. So I think characters like we've seen Incineroar right have good results. Characters like DK go up. Characters like Toon Link are going to go down because they just don't have those extensive punish games. Yeah. And yeah. who needs punish game when you have Sora up air though? Yeah, well, you pay five ninety nine, right? You better and get something special. It's so broken. They made us pay five ninety nine for that up air in two different games. Because in Smash 4, they just. Smash it's corn. 4, yeah, no. And then they just real. said, hmm, what if we nerfed corns up there a little bit for ultimate, but then just took the unnerfed version and put it on another DLC character? Sakurai knows what we pay for. I'm telling you. This man, like, they say they don't care about the competitive scene. I guarantee you, he's watching the competitive scene and says, how can I make them pay for this? Well, I. Do you want a better juggle tool? Sure, pay $5.99. <laughs> Do you want good comeback mechanics? Pay $5.99. Well, you want good zoners? Okay. Pay $5.99. I'm trying to exit my Doomer era, so I just want to say shout out to Ob McBob making top eight at Xeno. Oh yeah, no, he's good. And um, Toon Link is Toon Link is so much fun to watch. Yeah. Um like one of my favorite characters in the game to just yeah, talk I mean, about because he's so weird. Yeah, I mean he's we like can, a little dude. Yeah, I mean if you want to chat a little bit more about the whole like uh I think mm -hmm. 
punish game is also augmented by yeah. like because there's characters that are obviously crazy on hit. There's also characters. Monkey. Yeah, but like that's why kind of like DK's relevant, right? There's also Absolutely. characters where like maybe you're not so crazy on hit, but like the cap of your advantage is really high based on you have crazy frame trapping. You have like yep. based on if you cover your opponent so well, you kind of just smother them. Yep, characters like there's Karn, for also example. characters that have both, which is kind of where you get into like Fox, Pikachu, Pikachu, Sheik. I mean, yep. we can talk more about it. Bob but I want to say. Example.